are no coincidences, I'm here at Skellig Michael, the origin of the Michael Ley Line with my brother Declan. Hey everybody, well you're not quite at Skellig Michael yet, you're on Valencia Island. Um, we've got an 11 kilometer boat ride to go first, uh, but you're in for one hell of a day. You're going to one of the most beautiful, spiritual, spectacular places you've ever been. It's this triangular rock, 11, 11 miles out at sea. And we're gonna be talking about monks being there from 600 to 800 AD. We're gonna be talking about um, the monastery that's out there, the bird life that's out there. It is, as you say, the beginning of a ley line that goes all the way from here through England, through France, right down into Jerusalem. Uh, it's a spectacular place, it's beautiful. Um, and we're also gonna talk about recently how the biggest movie franchise in the history of the world, Star Wars, came and shot a scene, a, a scene from one of the movies there. So we're gonna have one hell of a day. Let's go. Michael, well done. It was an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes of a pretty bouncy boat ride, but you survived it. And I know it's all worth it. We're just at the beginning. We've done about 50 out of 616 steps that there. They're like 1,400 year old steps that were put there by the monks. And we've stopped just to take in this incredible view. If you've ever seen a swarm of bees, um, it's what it's like, but it's actually a swarm of puffins. And these are beautiful, captivating little uh, colorful birds. And they take off like fighter jets. They just leave the rock, head down, get their fish, and bring it back up to the young. And it's just a constant procession all day long, swooping down to the sea. And then John, uh, Morpheus and I can see really high up there. We can see these little red jackets and blue jackets, and they're the other tourists who have gone up before us. And it looks almost vertical. We've got a, about 600 steps all the way up to there to this monastery that was there. And the monks were here from 600 AD to, to 800 AD. Um, they built incredible structures, the staircase, the monastery, the garden. They've got irrigation system for rainwater. It's it's an absolutely incredible feat of engineering and perseverance. And I mean, we talk about mindset nowadays. Imagine the mindset of these guys uh, back then. I mean, just to just to spend the last of their life here. Here you'll see all the people coming down from the monastery so that's where we're going to go and there's two peaks on Skellig Michael and we're in the center is this little valley called Christ's Saddle and when I first came out here I don't know 20 years ago we went, went up here and had lunch um, you could sit up there and look and all you see in front of you is the, is the ocean heading back to the USA um, but it's blocked off now because it's not safe anymore and they don't want tourists heading up there so but it's, it's really stunning but now where we're going to go after we've caught our breath, <laughs> we'll take on these steep incline here. Here, here's the garden. We're going to go into the monastery in a moment, but I love this infrastructure here. Look, they come out the little channel, and because of the way it's constructed now, all the wind and the breeze has stopped. You could, you could strike a match here. It's really calm. Stairs goes down here, and then underneath us, turns right and out underneath this passageway and down over the side to a set of steps that are discontinued now because they, they go down to a different landing point. But the monks had different landing points with different stairwells around the rock for if they were coming back from the mainland um, or if they were going out fishing that they'd access the ocean from different parts because if the wind was coming from the north it would be dangerous to access it from one place. So they had several different landing spots but then that meant having to build multiple staircases like we've been on, you know? So it's, and even, I mean, even a little bit of attention to detail and care. Like, did they have to have this <laughs> spiral staircase that went under a little tunnel? I mean, that is just incredible. And, you know, he was a good, this, I think this is Finian's garden. I think that's what it's called. But look at all these little rockeries he had so he could have more soil, you know, built it up 
planted it with soil south facing so the sun rises over there near uh, Port McGee and down the Skelligs and all that area goes all the way across so he put it he had the heat from the rocks behind he had the wind protection all of his plants were growing here and on the other side of the bank as well it's just um, I mean it's, I, I say his it's, all the monks were probably doing it but just incredible incredible structures Yeah, so we're here now at the monastery and you can see all the beehive huts behind us where they would have slept and prayed all day long and then you're here obviously one of the main reasons you're here is is, um, is for the same is for the saint michael's ley line so this this wall here is the back of saint michael's church and this ley line that they talk about apparently it's about i think it's about six miles wide but it's it would be going from here saint michael's Island Skellig Michael and heading that direction, heading past Cork, which is over there. You can barely see some islands off of the Bear Peninsula in Cork, and then heading on down to St. Michael's uh, Mound in Cornwall, heading on down to Mont Saint Michel in France, and beyond into two sites in Italy and further sites all the way down. But apparently, this was like this is the starting point of that whole ley line that you, you, you know, you're here to see. But yeah, St. Michael's Church, St. Michael was the archangel and like killer of serpents and all that sort of stuff. And, Slayer of the devil, I believe. So, um, you're in a pretty powerful place. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, so it's good still turning. Oh, oh, okay. So, this is where they would have stayed. It's still dry in here. And you can see in the, some of the corners, there's like still remains of like ashes on the walls from where the smoke would have risen up from their little fires they had inside. It's the walls are dry, aren't they? They're very dry. <laughs> yeah. What are the chances being born in Galveston, Texas? I meet a brother over here that lives in Galveston. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Texas and Ireland. So, Carmel? Yeah. Mount Carmel in Jerusalem. The end of the ley line. So, you are? The beginning of the end. So there you go. <laughs> Just got done off the dock. Right beside me pulling up, 144, 2144, and a 222. You can't make it up.